Hello, my friends. I'm going to read you a story today. This is the story. It's called The Story of Jesus and His Disciples. This is written by Alice Joyce Davidson and designed by Victoria Marshall. This is a really good story, and it's written kind of like a poem. And Alice is a little girl who loves to read, and she enters into her imagination in the stories, and she can really feel like she's actually there. So I'm going to invite you to do the same thing. Use your imagination, and you get to be in the story too today. Okay, here we go. The Story of Jesus and His Disciples. A little girl named Alice likes to read her books a lot. A bench right by her window is her favorite reading spot. Whenever she's not busy and she has an extra minute, she reads her Bible storybook and looks at pictures in it. Do you do that? I hope you read your Bible storybooks too. One day, she read of Jesus, how he looked until he found 12 friends he called disciples to help spread God's word around. As Alice read, the animal bird, the airmail bird, flew to her windowsill and dropped the spe special message which he carried in his bill. Reading is the magic key to make you, to take you where you want to be. Her book became a great big screen. The screen grew tall and wide. Then Alice took a little walk to Bible land inside. She saw Jesus walking and much to her surprise, the story she was reading came to life before her eyes. Do you see Jesus? I do, he's coming down the mountain there. You see him up here? And you see Alice, she's just entering the story way over here. Okay, from here on, watch for Alice and Jesus in all the, in all the pages. The time is right, thought Jesus, to go across the land and tell the people who I meet, God's kingdom's close at hand. Can you see Alice up here? Uh-huh. I want to teach and preach and help everyone I can, but I will need disciples to carry out this plan. Who do you think Jesus is going to find to be his disciples? That day as he was strolling by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers fishing, casting nets into the sea. You see Alice? Mm-hmm. Andrew was one brother's name. Peter was the other. They both looked good and honest and worked well with one another. Jesus felt that he could trust brothers like these two, so he called out to both of them across the Sea of Blue. Come with me. You'll never have to fish for fish again. Follow me and you'll become my fishermen of men. The brothers were quite puzzled. Then each man on his own looked up at Jesus and saw that love and goodness shown. They came to shore to join him and follow Jesus' way. And they met two other brothers later on that day. So two brothers and two more brothers. James and John were mending nets. Their boat was on the shore. Jesus said, here's two more men, the kind I'm looking for. Come with me. You'll never have to fish for fish again. Follow me and you will be my fishermen of men. Do you see Alice? Over here. She looks so small next to those great big men. 
James and John looked at his face and saw such goodness there. They decided that they'd go with him and follow everywhere. Jesus told his four new friends the news he wanted spread, the good news that God's kingdom is coming just ahead. That's very good news. The four agreed, we'll follow you and I'll and be there when you preach. And if you will instruct us, we will help you teach. Jesus was very happy with the four new friends he found, but he needed 12 disciples to help spread the word around. He needs 12. He only has four. How many more disciples do we need to find? So he made friends with Philip and with Bartholomew, and a tax collector, Matthew, joined the others too. They met a man named Thomas, then found Thaddeus one day, both of them loved Jesus, so they followed in his way. They're getting quite a crowd of people, but we're not done yet. Then came a man whose name was James. I know, we already have a James. There's two Jameses. And faithful Simon, too. Judas joined the others and all said, we'll follow you. Now Jesus had 12 special friends, and every one of them shared his news, and they became fishermen of men. Everywhere they preached God's word, great crowds would follow too. And every time that Jesus spoke, the crowds just grew and grew. Jesus spoke in simple language that all could understand. And his 12 friends helped spread his news all across the land. Look at all of the people in these pictures. You see all of those people? Mm -hmm. And they were excited to hear Jesus talk and to hear his friends talk too. They love to hear those stories. The time had come for Alice to leave that Bible scene. She thought of Jesus and his disciples as she walked back through her screen. How good it must have been to be with Jesus every day, to be his friend and spread his word and follow in his way. That does sound fun, doesn't it? I'm glad that Jesus is my friend. He's with me everywhere. Then Alice put her book away and knelt and said this prayer. Dear Jesus, you're my closest friend. You teach me and you guide me. It feels so good each day to know that you are here beside me. Why don't we stop here? We're at the end of the story. Why don't we say a prayer too? Will you pray with me? All right, let's start with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Jesus, thank you for inviting me to be your friend too. Thank you for inviting all of my friends watching this video to be your friend too. We love you, Jesus, and thank you for loving us. Teach us to tell your story too. Teach us to be your disciples and to follow in your ways. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this story of Jesus and his disciples. I hope you enjoyed the story. You too are now one of his disciples. Jesus loves you.